Hey, Hi. guys! Welcome back to Violating Commu Community, wait, wait, community wait, wait. Guidelines. I'm with your host. This is our host, Brittany Broski and Sarah Shower. And, and Sarah Shower. Uh -huh. I know everybody. Wait, are you mimicking me? No, I'm, I'm an, an alien. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so today we're going to be talking about, <laughs> I was like, is that what I sound like? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> is there something in my throat? <laughs> um, viral games. Yeah. You know, like among. Sussy Among Us. <laughs> mm -hmm. I remember when that was like, I mean, that's still huge Among Us, but like everyone was like playing it. Oh, dude. Among Us has secured itself as like permanently a meme. Uh-huh. Like forever will be a meme. Yeah. And then we got like Minecraft and just get your younger brothers and sit them on the couch to listen to this. Literally, this one is for all the 13 year old boys that follow us. This one's for you guys. Don't show them the video version of this because I don't want them to call me mid and cringe. <laughs> L plus ratio plus <laughs> lesbian. So let, let's, let's them just hear my voice. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't even think that my voice is sexy. I don't think either of us have sexy voices. No. Sorry. It's, it's always people with like a vocal fry. Yeah. Yeah. They're like even now I'm like, fucking speak up. Yeah. Clear your throat. Um, so we're going to do a quick intro. A viral video game does not always correlate to a video game success. Although in most of not all cases, it means the game is successful. A viral video game is a video game with some sort of a inter internet relevancy or meme that helped it, it grow its play base. You got it. Yeah, I'm, I'm st oh, now there. I am mid and cringe audibly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> bruh, 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 <laughs> yes. The vine fart noise. Okay. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. I have a learning disability. Please stop. Okay. Um, this virality may come from a specific meme or due to the game's early success, i.e., a meme that you don't get unless you play the video game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, in most cases, this is how a game goes viral and may even spill over into a completely separate meme or movement that is no longer strictly rooted in the video game, i.e. sus. Yeah, mm -hmm. which sus has an interesting, like, history of that word. Yeah. Because it originally, as most things online, mm -hmm. has a root in homophobia. Yeah. Where if you're sus, that means you're just simply gay, uh -huh. which is crazy and then and among us in the chat people would say red is sus like yeah. he's the one the imposter he's gay he's gay and he also killed everyone oh wow the gay person is killing yeah. everyone yeah did you ever play among us um no i don't no have I you played it with my siblings uh -huh. <laughs> who are seven years younger than me yeah how was it i mean i get it like it's fun i guess and it's definitely meant to be enjoyed as a group uh -huh. um but, like, I didn't find any joy from playing it. <laughs> it was not that fun to me. I get too nervous, like, during, like, hiding games. Like, even, like, hide and seek when I was younger. I was, yeah. like, I was like, you know what, guys? I'm here. Yeah. I'm here. Like, I'm, I'm tired of waiting. I get too anxious. Like, mm. I, it's not even fun for me. Well, and Among Us 2 was, like, you have to hide and do a job. Uh-huh. I can't double task. Hide and kill. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Hide and kill. It's a... Sounds like a song by Lana Del Rey. Yes. About her ex-boyfriend. Yes. <laughs> um, many viral games can now be dictated by how popular they are between the gaming content community. The games that are most popular on YouTube and Twitch. And trust me, we are the experts on that. Mm, I think Twitch and Discord and Reddit are... <laughs> Uh, are like all of the fucking like uh, sites I'm just so unfamiliar with. Which are some of the most influential and important. Mm -hmm. Reddit, I know enough. Actually, no, I know enough about Reddit, but like I, I, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I say. Sorry, you know enough about Reddit. Yeah, that I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't want to be on Twitch. Yet. Whatever. Twitch is like, I feel like that's an untapped market for the both of us. Uh huh. I mean, we people were telling me to get a t like a Twitch channel for um, making Legos. Definitely. Because like it's literally a fucking hour to two hour activity that people like. Because people tune in to like make Legos with me. Honestly. Oh, that's so slay. Mm hmm. And then people can ask me questions. Like yeah, there's a fun element to it being live versus just a YouTube video. Uh huh. And I also don't know how to make money on Twitch. So. Well, I think people just donate money to you. Why would you do that? Because they like you. I didn't do anything that has earned would dictate me earning money. When, oh my God, I have such a guilt complex on TikTok Live when people send me gifts. Oh yeah. Because they want a shout out or whatever. I'm like, I would never do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so don't send me money. I love my lives on TikTok. I think I make like $11 each time. <gasps> 
sandwich. That's, that's like a Subway sandwich. I know. That's like a foot long. <laughs> yeah, with chips. Dang. I know, but um, actually, that's not with chips in this economy. <laughs> um, Inflation. Yeah, but like, I mean, I, uh, Twitch is like, I guess, like a different beast, but people like donate to you and then it's like a like a little notification. I mean, but that's true with any live. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where were we? Um, it can be argued that the success of the games are rooted from the internet. Yeah. And then I added a note here, and then me and Stanley started to argue in the, in the uh, what's it called, margins of the Google Doc. Mm-hmm. I said, um, it can be, like, it can be, oh my god. You caught it. <laughs> oh my god, you caught my stutter. stutter. Let me take a moment. <coughs> <laughs> it can be argued that the success of the games are rooted from the internet. And I said, as people or trolls decide it's going to be ironic to like it, it's a meme to like it. That's what I said. Like, then people actually genuinely enjoy it. Yeah. And then Stanley commented and said, it's the other way around. It starts as something fun and regular and then turns into a meme later, like Among Us. Uh-huh. And I was like, I guess that's true, but I also think I'm right. I think there's, okay, no, there's a lot of things. You and Stanley are right because you can do a lot of things ironically and then it becomes that like manifestation, you yeah. know, or like if you tell yourself like I'm a stupid idiot every, si- <laughs> every single day, you know what? You're going to be a stupid idiot. Like that's what like, you know, there's like uh, boss bitch sort of things. Yeah. Okay. But this is also something, a sex thing that's like advice about irony. So like I am. Un- kink. Yes, of course. I, I no, but like, no, no, no. The separately thing. Oh. Um, true. Um, so like I'm uncomfortable with my body and the idea of me trying to act sexy in the bedroom is cringy. Like for a lot of people, I could feel like, you know, I hate when you do it in my bedroom, yes. too. <laughs> like a strip tease and Brittany's like, get out. I'm trying to read. <laughs> I'm like, just give me a minute. The song's almost over. No, but so like, this is a sex thing. If you want to get more comfortable with being sexy is you do it ironically. Like if you act out those stupid fucking porn videos where like someone delivers a fucking pizza because like then you, the person is like cringing, but it's purposeful cringe. Yeah. And then as you start to like say it more again, you're convincing yourself. That you work at Domino's. Yes. That you're selling the pizza (laughs) and you need sex. So like, but no, I'm being serious. If you act sexy ironically long enough, during this, you'll actually, in about 30 minutes, actually be sexy. When the bit turns into yes. your reality. Yes. And you so- have successfully shaped your worldview. <laughs> yes. So Stanley is also correct, though, in that people like something and then, like, people ironically make fun of it. Mm-hmm. And then p- the, it gets interest. Yeah. 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 You guys are both right. And then- I, I get it, but it's also, like, how much of, I mean, f- from my perspective on the outskirts of the gaming community, my gaming knowledge is limited to what fucking Webkins, Club Penguin, yeah. Ten Dogs. Mm-hmm. It's always a meme. Uh-huh. Like, at the point where it reaches me, it's a meme. Well, I think, like, so a lot of those are feminine games, you know? Like, mm-hmm. I know that it's a video game, but, like, if when women do something, it's always made fun of. Right. You know, like, I so it makes sense that you had that experience. Well, I, I meant more in terms of, like, and I'm not saying Among Us was a gendered game, but like Among Us, GTA, Call of Duty, fucking even like Roblox, Minecraft. I don't play those games. I'm not in those communities. So by the time it reaches me, it's as a meme on, you know, Tumblr, Instagram, Twitter. Uh huh. And making also, fun of those games and the people who play those games. Yeah. And that also, there might be some other factors involved in that. How many straight men do you interact with? Handful. Yeah. So, like, you know, I mean, I feel like. I'll, there's, I don't know, people, straight girls probably know, like, about video games, like, more, almost immediately, because their boyfriend's playing Madden? Is that the, uh, yeah, maybe? You can play Madden? Yeah, you can be Madden. Okay, I didn't know if it was, like, a shoe. Steve <laughs> <laughs> so. Madden the video game? <laughs> <laughs> You're just trying on heels? <laughs> you designing yes. your own heel. Yeah. Play. <laughs> oh, I think the only games that I've ever played were, like, Ratchet and Clank. I loved Ratchet and Clank. Yeah. Did you ever play Crash Bandicoot? Um, no. Oh. But then I also like Spyro. I love Spyro. But that's because those are the games that came with the PS2. Right. And my brother let me use the PS2 when he was nice to me, and then just you, he kept all the video games to himself. Yeah. Yeah. I never, and I grew up with a little brother. I never got into like first-person shooter games. Mm-hmm. I guess I get the appeal. You want to cosplay as a fucking soldier? Yeah. But I've never understood the mass popularity of it. Like, and, and that's yeah. a lot of them. Even, um, I had friends in high school that, like, played Overwatch and all that. Mm-hmm. I just don't get it. Just classic 
boy game, I guess. And there's, yeah. there's girls that play video games. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying for me and my side of the internet that I grew up on, it was always like by the time I was seeing memes about these things, it had been a, a well-established video game and it was popular enough to be made fun of. Yeah. So that's, yeah. Mm-hmm. Before you book any dinner reservation, you pour over lists and lists of reviews. So why not do the same when you're booking a doctor's appointment? With ZocDoc, you can see real, verified patient reviews to help find the right doctor in your network and in your neighborhood. I got skin issues, okay? I do. And if you didn't know that, now you do. So welcome to the podcast. Finding a good dermatologist is hard, but since I started using ZocDoc, it's alleviated actually a lot of stress. ZocDoc is a free app that shows you doctors who are patient-reviewed, who take your insurance, and are available when you need them. On ZocDoc, you can find every specialist under the sun, whether you're trying to straighten those teeth, fix an achy back, get that mole checked out, or anything else. ZocDoc has you covered. ZocDoc's mobile app is as easy as ordering a ride to a restaurant or getting delivery to your house. Search, find, and book doctors with a few taps. Go to ZocDoc.com, find the doctor that's right for you, book an appointment in person or remotely that works for your schedule. Every month, millions of people use ZocDoc, and I am one of them. It's my go-to whenever I need to find and book a quality doctor. So what are you waiting for, team? Go to ZocDoc.com VCG and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then start your search for a top-rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That is Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash V-C-G. ZocDoc dot com slash V-C-G. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Our next partner has a product I use literally every day. I started taking AG1 because I feel like an old woman with the amount of, like, pill bottles I have that I cart around everywhere. You know, like, there's just so many supplements. Because, you know, my hands and feet and head and heart don't work. So I was like, why not just get my daily nutrients from one singular source? So what is this stuff? With one delicious scoop of AG1, you're absorbing 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food sourced ingredients, probiotics, and adaptogens to help you start your day right. This special blend of ingredients supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system, your energy, recovery, focus, and aging. I have a problem with all of those. So all the things. I personally consume it in the morning because I, if I do it later in the day, I'll just honestly forget. So when I wake up and I have my coffee and my daily bowel movement, I like to have my AG1 as well. Tons of people take some kind of multivitamin, and it's important to to choose one with high quality ingredients that your body will actually absorb. AG1 is a small micro habit with big benefits. It's one thing you can do every single day to take great care of yourself. Your subscription comes with a year's supply of vitamin D, which is so important to add in these winter months when we don't get as much sunlight. Anyone get the uh, depressed uh, seasonal affective disorder? Sad? <gasps> All right. So, um, Athletic Greens has over 7,000 five-star reviews, recommended by professional athletes, and is trusted by leading health experts such as Tim Ferriss and Michael Gervais. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your own health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com VCG. Again, that's athleticgreens.com VCG to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. So what makes a video... <laughs> <laughs> a video game go wild. So I'm just making some video games go viral. <laughs> games with a large player base. <laughs> Why did I... What the, is that my new thing? I'm just... Uh, just Swedish. S- stutter in Swedish. <laughs> There's also, um, what do you want to continue with what makes yeah, it? Yeah, well, I cracked into this Rice Krispie treat. What makes it go viral? What is making this game go viral? Games is large <laughs> player base. Online multiplayer game. Professional <laughs> player tournaments. MLG team. Super Smash Bros. <laughs> <laughs> Call of Duty tournaments. Overwatch League. League of Legends. Mm-hmm. A little note from Stanley. All oh, so sick. I made it to Diamond in Overwatch my senior year of high school when I truly peaked. Oh. Thank you, Stanley. Content created by popular gaming channels on YouTube and Twitch. Um, and then watching reactions slash commentary slash pro gameplay. That yeah. is a whole community that is so insanely large. Yeah. I can't even fathom how large it is. Here's the thing. May I enjoy watching people play video games. I hate playing video games. You know what I mean? So this content is geared, it's tailored to you. Yeah, like, if my brother, like, when we were getting along, he was like, do you want to watch me play, like, Ratchet and Clank? Yeah, I'd sit there for hours, and, like, I'd be like, there's a gem. Gem. <laughs> there's a gem. I'd be like, oh, my fuck! Like, it's, it's not important right now. Like... <laughs> <laughs> but 
I didn't collect all of the gems. I mean, also, there's just something <laughs> fun about watching someone do something when they're good at it, you know? Okay. Yeah. Like watching me play rock band. Yes, yes. I'm super good at rock band. You bitches are so jealous. Mm-hmm. But I also, that was, again, a certain type of game that people... People like me. Cool people. <laughs> yeah, that I, I didn't have any interest in any of like Minecraft or Roblox or like any of the games that my friends were playing. I was playing like rock band because I liked music and I liked... That's how I learned, actually, about a lot of classic rock. Yeah. I was through playing like Crazy Train and Aerosmith on rock yeah. band. It was so fun. Mm-hmm. And um, you become good at it from doing it a lot. Yeah. So I think that that is... It's cool to see how different types of games morphed people into who they are today yeah it's like if you grew up playing this you're this type of person yeah if you grew up on my sister used to play movie star planet Uh uh-huh she's like a fashion slay madison beer girl now yeah it's like that i get it like you grew up with that so i mean i think the only time where i um i'd not regularly play video games but like i play games when i go to like dave and busters or like oh that's fun and like that's like different because normally i wouldn't be interested in like shooting a a duck with a sawed off shotgun but you put me at dave and busters and and i'll spend an hour on that fucking machine yeah you've trained your whole life for that dude i fucking love going to dave and busters (laughs) and and shooting baskets (laughs) yeah Yeah, like i fucking hate basketball i played basketball like for like a season when i was younger but i hated how this is when i realized i was gay i hated how when when you're guarding someone, it feels like they're humping you a little bit. Oh yeah. And so I you was hated like, that. Well, no, I was getting too nervous. I was like, what, is, what does she want? You know, the, the ball, ball. <laughs> <laughs> um, to win. Yes, but so I, I stopped playing basketball because I was too uncomfortable around women. Um, <laughs> No, but and so then, but whenever I go to Dave and Buster's, I fucking love like shooting basketballs. Yeah. yeah. Last time I was at Dave and Buster's was with you and Trixie Mattel. Yeah. <laughs> It was so fucking fun. And it was Katya fun. there. Was Katya there? What? Or, no, it was Trixie. No, that boyfriend. was after we filmed oh, our yeah, video. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, my video with Trixie, and then we all went to Dave & Buster's. And I said, we need to go and drag, mm-hmm. and she wouldn't let us. Aww. So we had to go take it off. Anyway. Um, there's also a content created by, oh, yeah. Um, there's tutorials online, sharing theories, and lore. I love the na- the word lore. Lore. It's just so perfect. Call of Duty lore. <laughs> yes. Um, and then it's also impossible to know for sure why games go viral. They simply just go viral the same way anything else goes viral for any reason. I was about to say, like, what makes something go viral? Dude, You that's the wrong question to ask. Yeah. Just be interesting. Yeah. Oh, period. Mm-hmm. For anyone working in social media or advertising or anything that relies on an algorithm for success, there is no... There is no mm-hmm. uh, uh, equation. And you need to know that. And you need to tell your fucking old bosses that that's... Because they think it's this, like, what buttons do I need to click for it to go viral? Mm-hmm. And we can have a, a sleeper hit. That's not how it works. Yeah. If you make good content, it might go viral. Yeah. And it also might not. Yeah, There's so much good content out there that no one sees. Because mm-hmm. who knows? Yeah, There are also browser games slash flash player games. A browser game is a video game that's played via the internet using a web browser. They are mostly free to play and can be single player or multiplayer. Some browser games are also available as mobile apps, PC games, or on consoles. For users, the advantage of the browser version is not having to install the game. The browser automatically downloads the necessary content from the game's website. Do you have 17,000 games downloaded on your laptop? Is that why it runs so slow? I've got three terabytes of porn. (laughs) (laughs) That'll do it too. No, no, wait. What was the question that you just asked? Do you have so many games downloaded on your laptop? That's why it runs so slow. Versus no. using a browser. Oh, game. no. I've, I don't have any games on my laptop. I have, like, a slots game. I have the, I, the crossword is not a game. <laughs> and then I have um, the little block, the Tetris. And I have... Tetris is fun. The only thing I've ever played, like, a game on my computer is Solitaire. Mm. I love at the end when they just... Yeah. They explode everywhere. It's Do good. you have any games on your computer? Um, my old laptop, I had downloaded some. Uh-huh. Yeah, couldn't even tell you what they were now. But I, when I would play like Webkins before, uh, or no, when I would play Club Penguin before they fucking took it away, I would play it online uh-huh. and the Webkins is online. Oh yeah, yeah, it's fun. It's it's I like going and all the Disney Channel games are still up. Mm-hmm. So I've always I, I started to realize the games that I enjoyed as a kid were only accessible through the internet. I never like bought video games or downloaded them. It mm-hmm. was like. I was logging on. I was logging on. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, 
due to Adobe Flash being shut down on December 31st, 2020, RIP, thousands of these games have been preserved by the Flashpoint Project. Video game websites. These websites act as... It acts, uh, oh, you're uh, really going through it. <laughs> <laughs> I just had Pepsi, Doritos, and a Rice Krispie Treat. I'm shaking with energy. Mm. These websites act as... <laughs> Acted as hosts. Jesus Christ, can you take over? <laughs> these we- I just stuttered through it too. <laughs> these websites acted as hosts for many of these browser <laughs> games, with many of them being children's cable channels. Yeah. Like media companies like Disney or Cartoon Network. Cartoon, Cartoon Network, I feel like, has a lot of great games. Did, I just Did I- you play the... I want to... The Disney ones. Were you a Disney kid? Um, I was a Cartoon Network kid. Oh, okay, that makes... And that... Is all you need to know about this podcast. Um, but actually, no. My mom thought Ed, Ed, and Eddie was satanic. Yeah. Because they were impossibly stupid. <laughs> 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 Little did she know. Those boys were shaping everything about myself. Yeah. Um, those boys taught me how to live. Yeah. And also Nickelodeon. I feel like I was a more Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network kid. Yeah. Yeah. I like, had a healthy balance of all of them, but I was I would I definitely leaned Disney. towards Disney. Yeah. yeah. Um, Zach and Cody's Tipped in Trouble. Remember that, guys? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Design Hannah Montana, one of the best games ever made. These are all so good. 625 Sandwich Stacker, the Lilo and Stitch game where you stacked all the sandwiches and you played the little yellow alien. Damn. That is, I, it's crazy that, like, you could go to Subway and, like, have that same experience, but it's not as fun. But it's not, because no one's throwing boots and trash at you. <laughs> well... <laughs> The subway on Vine. I was like, depends which <laughs> yes. location you visit. Um, there's also Adult Swim has like the robot unicorn attack, and then PBS Kids Games. Mm-hmm. Damn, these are so good. What? Can you read some of them, Brittany? Please. Oh, uh, what's up? <laughs> can you read? Kitchen commotion. The Zach and Cody throwback of. Oh yeah, yeah. Zach and Cody when they were in the. I mean, these are all just like Disney versions of classic games, like Frogger and all that, but. Damn, I'm going to play this alien sandwich stacker one on the drive home as I'm driving. You literally, we drove separately. <laughs> I'm going to be just on the 101 <laughs> yes. just playing Disney games. Yeah, Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon. Let's go through the Nickelodeon games. Some of the Nickelodeon games from the gamer.com. That sounds like a fake website. I don't remember any of these. No, it says uh, accept cookies. I don't want to accept any more cookies. You don't want cookies? That's literally what it says before a bunch of porn gets downloaded on my computer. And <laughs> on poor websites. I know, but it's also the gamer. Holy shit. Cat Scratch? This means war? Cat Scratch? Was that a, that was a show. Remember Cat Dog? Or Yeah. Yeah, I loved Cat Dog. My parents, again, thought that was satanic. It was so stupid it was satanic. That- Holy shit, dude. Cat Scratch? Do you remember this show? Yes, vaguely, yeah. Yes, it's like scratching the back of my head. Wait, stop. There was a girl at my elementary school who her only thing, you know when someone draws only one thing? Yeah, yeah. She drew all those characters all the time. Oh my God, it's Leslie. Like scratching the back of my brain. Her name was Leslie. And Leslie. She, she introduced me to ASMR because she drew so intentionally the cat, sh- scra- cat scratch characters. Hey, these are cool characters to draw. Leslie, what's your last name? Leslie. I don't know. Jordan. <laughs> Leslie Jordan. <laughs> Damn, I need to go watch some of this. This show was so good. Cat Dog was good. Um, you know what was scary? Fucking wh- what? Uh, Wild Thornberries. No, 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 the other one with Curse the dog. The cowardly dog. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the other one. Yes. yes. Um, that was it. Courage the cowardly dog scared me fucking shitless. No, me too. And I feel like we all grew up with that generational trauma. Courage yeah. the cowardly dog. The old man scared me, and he was always alone. Yeah. He was always <laughs> shaking alone, and I was like, I guess I am too now. I'm terrified. In the fucking middle of nowhere, and Muriel or Miriam was just so fucking clueless. Oh yeah. There's also he loved her, though. <laughs> Did he? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think... I don't know. There's also some website hosts, which are going to mean almost nothing to people... I don't know. Mini Clip, Ad Con, and Con, Fun Brain, Addicting Games, Cool Math Games. Cool Math Games! Nerds. Actually, I passed calculus in college because there was a girl who did calculus ASMR, and I would fall asleep to it every night. Calculus ASMR? Yeah, because she would explain how, like, the equations, and it, she had such intentional writing. It puts you to sleep. Yeah, but I, I learned calculus through ASMR. No fucking way. I passed calculus through there ASMR. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. All right. All right. <laughs> Do you ever used to play Pop Tropica? No. I was Pop Tropica girl. What is that? Well, when I used to finish reading for AR, advanced reading, and I'd get all my AR points, they'd let us play on the computer. Oh, like, um, 
Have you ever played Mavis Beacon? <laughs> Typing? What the fuck is that? You guys, do like learning how to type. Like Mavis Beacon, like words per minute. Oh. Well, you didn't really play well, it. Well, these are like, it's so deep in my brain. You just yeah. reached your fingers in and you're like digging around in my brain. I know. Yeah. <laughs> is it sorry. juicy? Oh. Um, oh, wait. Speaking of juicy, I um, was going to throw out the trash earlier at home. And I slipped on your Crocs for like a brief second to like run to the trash, and they were so wet. Oh yeah, I probably just had them on. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck?" With the blue ones? Yeah, because I just needed to toss yeah, them. Yeah, I just worn them for probably eight hours straight. Sorry. No, I'm sorry. Okay. Well, I mean, I wore your clothes, and I'm like, "Why is it wet?" I put Why, your... Why'd you go for those? I have 17 pairs of Crocs out there. Put your panties on. Well, oh, sorry, never mind, actually. <laughs> All right, never mind. Um, so there's also popular browser games. Q-W-O-P. Quop. Quop. Line Rider. Agario. Slither. I, uh, hold on. Agar, a, Agario. You're having a brain blast. Is the one where they ride the water slide. We were supposed to be experts, and we're clearly mm -hmm. just discovering this stuff for the first time. Is Stanley putting all this together? Like, I've played all these games. I love these games. I could talk about it for hours. And we're like, oh, Pop Tropical was <laughs> when I, um, no idea. Um, did you ever used to watch Rooster Teeth? On YouTube. That was like the one that my parents really fucking hate. No, I didn't watch it, but Rooster I've heard Teeth, of it. Yeah. It was like rage quitting. Yes. Which yeah. is, for any, anyone who didn't grow up online, rage quitting is when you're playing a game and you get so frustrated, you like rage quit. Yeah. Basically is how I could describe it. I used to watch on YouTube in like middle school rage quit videos because they were so fucking funny on Rooster Teeth. They would play Happy Wheels. They would play these just like random games like the box scary maze game the box game or whatever and the guy who would play it was so funny the way that he would get so angry and the yeah. things he would say i quoted it all the time i want to go back and like rewatch all of them because they were so good happy wheels is one of them and it was um you were like on a bicycle or in a car or whatever and there was one where it was a dad on a bicycle with a baby on the back yeah and it's just like hyper uh fluid movements yeah so you like push him forward and his neck snaps back <laughs> that sort of shit or just like you raise his arm and it goes all the way around or whatever and so you try to navigate him like up a hill or jumping or whatever and it's just so violent yeah but it's animated and so there was one where the baby was on the back it was on like a dad scooter like yeah. a dad bike and if you jump too high the baby would fall off and oh. i thought that was so funny <laughs> as a middle schooler <laughs> Dude, can you imagine rage quitting for like a New York Times crossword puzzle? I have done that probably. <laughs> Shatter your phone. But oh my gosh, yeah, I, I something similar. Like, what was that one game where like it was like a little stick man and you had to like control his movements and he went like up the fucking hill? Yeah, or or the where you had to run. Yeah. You had to make him run a marathon. Yeah. I think that was the oh, same thing. What was that? Or like he would like go in like a loop that on a bike. That was called Quop. That oh. was that was Quop. Yeah. Oh, we're because qu you know why? Because it's the the keys that it takes to control him. K W oh. or Q W and O P. Oh my god. Yeah, your one of them was his left arm, one of them was right arm, and you had to like make him run. It was so fucking hard. I'm a gamer. Um, there's also Happy Wheels, uh, Bloons Tower Defense, Age of War, Boxhead, Motherload. Interactive buddy. <laughs> I'll show you an interactive buddy. <laughs> and Falling Sand. Never played any of those except Happy Wheels and Quap. It's just your character with an open mouth facing the ceiling. <laughs> Falling Sand. And you do like complete a task until you swallow a <laughs> shit ton of sand. <laughs> <laughs> we also have some Facebook games and I feel like these are like more everyone's speed. Yeah. Farmville. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever play Farmville? Um, no. I used to love Farmville, dude. Dude, I wanted to... I, I stopped going on Facebook just purely for the Farmville fucking requests. Yeah. I was like, stop. That was me sending them. Yes. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> and then Candy Crush. Your mother's... <clears throat> everyone's mom is probably <clears throat> playing this right Still now. has a grip on America. Yeah. Like, has its fingers so wound mm -hmm. into the fabric of America. <laughs> so far up the sphincter of America. Yes. Mm -hmm. You also have eight ball pool. And I love those memes. Mm -hmm. If y'all haven't seen those, of when oh, yeah, someone's yeah. like, it's like an, a screenshot of an iMessage thread and someone's like, we have to break up. Yeah. You've cheated on me for the last time. I can't fucking do this anymore. I'm leaving you. And then it says, let's play eight ball. <laughs> <laughs> There's also Pet Society, Uber Strike. <laughs> You're just joining a union. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> the follow-up game, Amazon Strike. The game of you crossing a picket line. <laughs> That's all it is. No, I imagine it's something else. Um, <laughs> there's Mob Wars. Stanley says L game. And then there's Mafia Wars. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, direct competitor. It, yeah, the, like the knockoff version. Um, Dang. Do you th- what do you think you do uh, <laughs> in those games? <laughs> you get in a group and you kill people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's also Draw Something. I remember that game. Hold on, what was that? There's also Four Picks, One Word. My parents love that game. Four My Picks, One Word? My dad plays it on his Galaxy tablet. Surely there must be a million jokes about Four Picks, One Word, Three Girls, One Cup. You would think. Three girls, one cup. Two girls, one cup. How many girls were in a <laughs> cup? Draw something was so fun. Oh, my God. Do you, did you ever used to play Trivia Crack? No. That didn't have your high school in a chokehold? What is Trivia Crack? It was just a trivia game, and we all used to play each other, like, during lunch and during... It was like a thing. It was like, play me back. That's how you flirted with people. Do you while, know? While whooping them by being smarter than them. Can I say this? Yeah. The game was released October 26, 2013. Yeah. I graduated in 2012. So you guys had it in high school, but I... I forgot. I know. I'm ancient. I forgot. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> but, yeah, I can imagine it would be really nice and fun. It was fun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you wouldn't know. <laughs> There's also Restaurant City. Did you ever play Diner Dash? Um, like, we did, like, at actual restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like what you did as a job, but as a video game that I played for fun. Really? Yeah. Is it just a Dine and Dash thing? Diner Dash, yeah. There's, um, we, uh, when I, I was raised super Christian, so my family always thought this was funny. Um, we did Canadian Dine and Dash. It's where you pay and tip handsomely, but you run out. So it looks like you haven't paid. And then they catch up to you when they realize that you paid. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Just, ooh, give the waitress a heart attack really quick <laughs> yes. for fun. So, yeah. Wow. Um, my family's kind of weird. Um, <laughs> 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 Yeah, Diner Dash was where you had to seat the guests, make the food, and serve the table all at the same time. And I would oh. play that and just stress myself out. Cooking Mama? Mm-hmm. You ever play that? Mm-mm. I'm the gamer girl. I think since I worked in an actual restaurant, like I didn't want to relive it. And that makes sense. Yeah. I never waited tables. I was a hostess and I was a food preparer. Yeah. <laughs> I, I skipped out on the waitress part. You were a line cook? I worked at Baskin Robbins. <laughs> That's actually so funny. I was only a waitress and a bartender for a little bit, but I was so bad. Like, the thing is, is if I have to make something, I just get so overwhelmed, especially people are watching me do it. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. So I start to cry, and the guys are like, I just, uh, give me a beer. You know what? Just a beer. They're like, just open the bottle. Give give it to me. I'll open the bottle. Yeah. (laughs) I'm like, a mimosa is, you know. (laughs) Dude, if I, if people watch me do anything, I I literally start to get like really nervous. Yeah. Like, don't watch. Did you ever prepare food? Um, The salads, pretty much it, because those you You could make. You told me that before. Yeah. 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 Did you ever make the ice cream? Uh, you know what? No. You were never in the back like with a churn. <laughs> Churning <laughs> butter and ice cream at the same time. No, but I used to go cry in the freezer. Yeah, yeah. Every person who has worked at a restaurant or a restaurant adjacent uh-huh. has cried in the, the freezer. Yes. Um, I used to hide in the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Uh, they used to make me clean piss off the walls of the bathroom because yeah. people would go piss on the walls of my Baskin Robbins, mm-hmm. which was later robbed at gunpoint after I stopped working there. Yeah. So that was so slay. Moving along. Some popular iOS games. Um, there's Flappy Bird. You ever played that? Damn. R.I.P. Flappy Bird. Yeah. I used to play it on my iPod Touch. Uh-huh. Rich. Wait, with like the little like spinning dial one? Yeah. That must be impossible. No, 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 no. no. That's an iPod Nano. Oh. iPod Touch was the first iPod Touch. Okay. Yeah. I had the one with a camera. I asked for it for Christmas for two years. Finally got it. Yeah. I had the, oh my god, iPods are so, like, I had the green one, the, the big fat green one, mm. uh, and then I had, like, a thin black one with, like, a silver back, mm. and then I had, like, a little one. The iPod Nano? Yeah, but I lost it while running. Dang. Yeah. You know, they're back. Really? My mom has the first original Apple iPod that ever came out. It's about this thick, uh-huh. and it's it's white, and the screen is black and white. Yeah. Um. And it only held probably about 500 songs. Yeah. And at the time, I was like, oh, my God. Those are going for, like, a, lo- a lot of money right now. Oh, my God. As, but the fucking TikTok girls who need, not girls, but, like, TikTok people who want to fit into that aesthetic. Yeah. Of, like, my iPod. <laughs> like, that's crazy. 
crazy. Oh my gosh, you guys, okay, old people who went to high school a long time ago, remember like the iPod versus Zoom? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Everyone like if if you had like a Zoom, it was like sad. And yeah, then, you were, it was it's classic Apple versus Android. Yeah. Oh, I miss Zoom. Dang, did Zoom? Who bought Zoom? Um, we bought a Zoom. We bought a Zoom. I gotta stop talking about that movie. Um, but they stopped existing in. Oh, they still exist. The battery life is seventy two hours. Oh my god! But if you buy it new, it's eight hundred dollars. Oh yeah, because oh, they stopped. They stopped making them. Oh, discontinued June twenty twelve. There you go. God, when I graduated from high school. Oh my god, I did that. You I graduated part- high school in June of twenty twelve. What did I do to Zune? <laughs> you graduated high school. Oh yeah. Um, you know when the queen died. I got like a bunch of like DMs like, what are you doing right now? And I was like, why? And then they were like, you know when you had sex the first time and Michael Jackson died? <laughs> so multiple people were like, did you have sex with anyone? And are you killed, fucking? And killed the queen? I was like, oh, but damn. Damn. That, that would have been a good story if I you know. did. I should have bought my car. And then, yeah. <laughs> got my Volkswagen <laughs> as the queen was passing. <laughs> yes. um, Clash of Clans. I've, have you played that? I get so many ads for Clash of Clans. Clash Royale, Boom Beach, Heyday, Brawl Stars. <laughs> I get so many uh, ads for Clash Royale because I am a lover of Game of Thrones. Yeah. And I'll sit there even after like the allotted time has passed. You can skip the ad. I'll sit there and watch it. Yeah. So I'm like, damn, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of Brawl Stars, like RuPaul's Drag Race Brawl Stars. That's audition good. where it's like all of the winners are just the street pa- fighting. <laughs> Tracy tells beating the shit <laughs> out of people. <laughs> oh my god. Um, there's also Doodle Jump. Wait, oh, Doodle, Doodle Jump. I love Doodle Jump. Doodle Jump is a classic. Angry Birds is a classic. Yeah. Fruit Ninja, a classic. Mm-hmm. I never played Fruit Ninja. I, thought, I always thought it was kind of contrived. Yeah, I'm above that. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yes. I'm playing Clash Royale. I'm making sandwiches, I'm not cutting food. <laughs> I'm playing, uh, fuck, what was it called? 625 Sandwich Stacker. I like the idea of like a hierarchy in like a grocery store. Like, I work in bakery. You're in produce. Oh, I'm sure that happens. Yeah. 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 You watch how you speak to me. (laughs) (laughs) Your sub is going to be ice cold. Ooh, who do you think is the top tier? Um, definitely, um, seafood. Why? Dude, waiting for seafood is like always, it always takes the longest. But you think they're better, they're, they're, the top of the class system in a Walmart produce section? Of course. Like, think about, like, I mean, it close followed by, like, like by um, the people who cut meat, but people who get the seafood, like, there's something about seafood that's just so fancy. So the people who prepare the seafood are yeah. superior? Now, see, I'm thinking the opposite. I'm thinking people who work in pastry are top of the top, creme de la creme. Yeah, those are definitely, like, definitely, like, a skill. Like, the cake decorators. Yeah! I feel like they just have a stick up their ass. You know? I mean, yeah. And then after that is the people who work in the bread section. Uh-huh. They're like, this is a foca- rosemary focaccia. <laughs> and then the cheese people. Cheese people, yeah. Yeah. And then I would put the meat people at the bottom. Those are the cavemen. Yeah. I would say, like, the salamis and stuff. You're, like, definitely, like... Slob. Yeah. Bottom tier. <clears throat> if you guys have any input on the uh, class system of a Walmart or mm-hmm. any produce section of a grocery store, you guys let us know. Also, dude, I applied to, in high school, I applied to work at Target, like, so many times, and they mm-hmm. always said no. Why? What do you have to do to get a job at Target? You look like you might steal from Target. Really? Yeah. <laughs> There's also Fruit Ninja, Threes, um, Jetpack Joyride. Remember that? No. Yeah, I remember that. that. I what? never played it. What is it? It's just, you're in the Jetpack. Oh, okay. It's pretty and simple. It's a Joyride. <laughs> Crossy Road, which is Frogger. Yeah. Space Team, and then Stanley says, best game ever made. So I guess I'm going to... Never played Space Team, so... Mm-hmm. This one I feel like should have its own episode, Pokemon Go. Oh, dude. Never has the nation been so united. Exactly. like under Pokemon Go's supremacy. The summer of 2016. Take the, me back. When I just, quote-unquote, graduated college. Like, everyone was doing... Po- like, everyone was meeting up. There was, like, clumps of people. And mm-hmm. you're like, oh, either someone's breakdancing or it's Pokemon Go. Yeah. In, you know? In public places. Yeah. It got people out of the house. Yeah. And and together. Mm-hmm. Um, now, people did do it while they were driving. Mm-hmm. Similar to the way that I'm going to be playing that Stitch... Lilo and Stitch game on the way home. Oh, yeah. Like, um... And then Pokemon Go was like, it looks like you're going over 60 miles per hour. You should probably put the phone down. And that was right before Trump was announced as as president. It was just like the calm, truly 
the calm before the storm oh, in that, America. 2016 was a wild fucking year. Drake released an album that summer. Great music from 2016. Uh-huh. It was just, dang. That is crazy, yeah. I was going into my sophomore year of college. I was on Vine. Dang. I was out of college. All right, let's move on. Um, there's also Heads Up. I played Heads Up 7 Up. You know that's Ellen's game? Heads Up 7 Up? No. Oh, Heads Up? Heads Up. I have never heard I of it. I still play Heads Up to this day. It's this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ting! Were you guess? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, were you, oh, the accent one is so good. The accent one? Yeah, there's one called, um, like, Accents of the World or whatever, and it'll put, like, Russian. Da, 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 and you have to be like, I feel like they could quickly get racist. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there's also uh, Plague Inc. It's just where you get the bubonic plague, and you have to <laughs> just, keep, yeah. keep your poop in, and your fingers from falling off it's one of those like makeover games where it's like she has a zit yeah no 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 like oh, yeah, fix yeah. her brush her hair but plague ink is just you cover their black <laughs> sores yes. on their arm <laughs> open lesions that's so sad it's also temple run i played that yeah loved temple run oh yeah i want to play temple run again the thing that chases him dude terrifying i never turned wait i never saw it it's the thing that gets you oh it's like this monkey slash like chupacabra looking like Bigfoot thing yeah. that is chasing you through the temple. That's what you're running from. Yeah. And then when you like trip or stumble and it shows him for a minute, it's like, oh, f- <laughs> <laughs> yes. So scary. Subway Surfer is the same game as Temple yeah, Run. Exactly. And then there's more jelly car, geometry dash, just running from math, <laughs> uh, ridiculous fishing, cut the rope, super hexagon, trivia crack. Trivia there we crack, go. let's go. Yeah. And bejeweled. I remember Bejeweled. Oh my God, Stanley literally, this entire like note, it's just, he literally just listed video <laughs> games. Like, I mean, like, there's a page that just says, this is what it says Popular video games, Minecraft, Roblox, GTA 5, uh, Red Dead Redemption, Fortnite, Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh my gosh. When I was on Vine, I used to film Vines in my ex boyfriend's house, and he had a Red Dead Redemption poster. Mm. And I feel like a lot of the guys were like, "Yo, you have a great taste in video games." Like that was one of my main comments about Red Dead, and I was like, "I don't, never played." I don't know what that is. But I never corrected them. Mm. Yeah, Fortnite. Does your brother play Fortnite? My brother plays all of these, dude. Yeah. My brother's a gamer. I played. Uh, what's that game? Where you just. It's two players on the screen, and you just beat the fuck out of each other. <laughs> Is it Mortal Kombat? Pong? I think it's Mortal Kombat. I said where? Pong. Pong. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think it's probably Mortal Kombat. I think yeah. it's Mortal Kombat where you pick whatever, and I would make him pick the like wrestler WWE woman, and yeah. then I would be this big scary like hairy man. And we just beat the fuck out of each other. Yeah. And he begged me to play it with him one time, and I was like, Ugh. and it's so graphic. Yeah. And we played with each other, and I was like. This is therapeutic. Yeah. I was like, I think I needed to virtually beat the shit out of you. Mm -hmm. It it helped. Our relationship. Dude, every time I play a game with my brother, we're like, it's like a fight. Like, I would just start to, like, crying. Because he would obviously win. And I'd be like, Jake! Jake, stop! Yeah. Stop! Ow, ow, ow! Mom, he's hitting me! (laughs) It's a video game. (laughs) Yeah. Um, There's also Five Nights at Freddy's. My Five Nights at Freddy's had a grip on my siblings. Uh Uh-huh. It's it's interesting because I reference my siblings a lot for, like, What's cool with the team? Yeah. Because they're freshly like 18, 19. Yeah. So all of this, he was playing in high school, which a lot of my friends who were playing like Overwatch and all that was in high school. Yeah. Because I didn't really interact with straight men after that point. You know, Mm -hmm. you're not forced to in college the way you are in high school. And so a lot of this I know from my siblings. And Five Nights at Freddy's has a weird like fandom that has left the game. Uh You know, like. It's a weird, there's, it's kind of like My Little Pony. Okay. Like there's fan art and there's stories and there's I don't, tattoos and yeah. stuff. I don't know. It's like a weird, I think that maybe it's the aesthetic that really resonates yeah. with people. Of like an a abandoned Chuck E. Cheese animatronics where you're the security guard. Because that's the whole premise is you're five nights at Freddy's animatronic fucking whatever. Okay. And you're the security guard. Yes. Anyway. We're not even, at, well, this is just, we're just listing now. For, yeah, I, I, this is what you guys want to know, yeah. is how we feel about each, each of these games. I love Tetris. Um, Among Us, again, don't really play it. Mm-hmm. There's Fall Guys. That's just guys who are true autumns. Mm-hmm. Um, it's color matching. You guys love a PSL, yeah. pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> um, Mario Kart. Oh, I love Mario Kart. Mm-hmm. Uh, Do you ever play Birio Kart? Birio Kart? Yeah. Is that fake? No. 
What is it? Burio Kart is. <laughs> are you joking? Yeah. You're tricking me. Yeah. Um, Burio Kart is where you race with all of your friends. Like uh-huh. everyone has a controller. And from the beginning of the race to the end of the race, you have to finish your beer. Uh-huh. And it's like, how do you have time to tr- drink? And if it's if your beer isn't done by the time you get to the finish line, then you have to like buy a, sh- a round or something. Oh, like drinking and driving. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, um, but never, legal. Yeah, yeah. I've never done that. Um, uh, no, I've never played Birio Kart. Skyrim. Post Malone loves that game. Skyrim is oh, no. I don't even know what that what it looks like. Me either. There's also S- Super Smash Bros. I love that one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Overwatch, oh, League of Legends. The, <laughs> these are all the nerd <laughs> games. <laughs> you guys are nerds. Yes. League of Legends, Skyrim, PUBG, Rocket League, World of Warcraft, Call of Duty, Halo. Uh-huh. What's the one? Um, it's the fifties, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Yeah. What's the one that fifties? Yeah. <laughs> it's the fifties. <laughs> Like, do you guys know what I'm talking about? It looks like the, what's that? <laughs> Hold on. It's the. <laughs> Hannah, is it, are, is it Fallout? Yes. Thank you, Hannah. You knew. It's, I was going to say, it looks like that restaurant we eat at here in Burbank. The Fat Boys. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. That's like the logo for it. And it's like 50s themed, but it's like apocalyptic, I guess. Hannah's oh, wait, so no, I looked it up. So now I know why. You know why he's doing the thumb in the logo? No. It's because like when there's a mushroom cloud, you if to see if you're safe, you put your thumb up. And if your thumb covers the entire mushroom cloud, you don't have to worry about nuclear fallout. If you can't cover the bomb with your thumb, then you got to run. Now that's T. Yeah. Is that true? Yes, that is true. Okay. Th- look it up. That's uh, the only thing I know about Fallout. You're like adjusting the depth. Yeah, so you're like, you like oh. don't have to worry about it. Oh. <laughs> just... Leaning forward in denial. <laughs> Best thing you can do probably for yourself is get in the fridge. Um. Yeah, they do say that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to have a third eye. Yeah, get in the fridge. <laughs> um, there's just so many more. Resident Evil, um, Half-Life, and that's just, you know, carbon dating different kids. <laughs> <laughs> you're a scientist. I <laughs> farted. Uh, uh, <laughs> Ew. Rainbow Six Siege. I know that one because someone's house on TikTok looked like it. They were like, is that the house from Rainbow Six? <laughs> uh, that's what I'm saying. Everything I know about video games, I know not of Against my own will. volition. Yes. Yeah. And then there's like Sonic games and Witcher games. So these are all... Ex- ex- oh my God. We spent so much time <sighs> listing them that he actually did explain most of these. Not most of them. These are just the. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna touch on a couple of the ones that we listed. Yeah. Um, you know, there's Flappy Bird. It's a mobile game developed by Vietnamese video game artist and programmer Dong uh, Win under his game development company Gears. Um, the game is a side scroller where the players control a bird attempting to fly between columns of green pipes without hitting them. Win created the game over the period of several days. Oh, that's actually pretty fast. Um, mm-hmm. Using a bird protagonist that he had designed for a canceled game in 2012. Canceled. What did the bird do? Said homophobic slurs. God, that's always that. The birds always do that. Uh, the game was released in May of 2013, but received a sudden spike in popularity in early 2014 and became a sleeper hit. Uh, Flappy Bird received poor reviews from some critics who criticized its high level of difficulty and alleged plagiarism in graphics and game mechanics, while other reviewers found it addictive. Um, at the end of G- uh, January 2014, it was the most downloaded free game in the App Store for iOS. During this period, its developers said that Flappy Bird was earning $50,000 a day from its in-app advertising Jesus as well as sales. Christ. Flappy Bird was removed from both the App Store and Google Play on February 10th, 2014, with Wynn claiming that he felt guilty over what he considered to be the game's addictive nature and overusage. Okay, Ben de la Creme. <laughs> he Ben de la Creme himself. Bow out when you're winning. <laughs> What? <laughs> Feeling guilty for winning. Yeah. Its popularity and sudden removal caused phones with the game installed before its removal to be put up for sale for high prices over the internet. And my fucking original iPod Touch, aforementioned iPod Touch, has Flappy Bird on it. Oh my gosh. I'm going to sell it for one million dollars. Okay, yeah. Me first dollar. <laughs> <laughs> many, many, many. Um, games similar to Flappy Bird became popular on the iOS app store in the wake of its removal. And both Apple and Google have removed games from their app store for being too similar to the original game. 
In August 2014, a revised version of Flappy Bird called Flappy Bird's Family was released exclusively for the Amazon Fire TV. Mm. Imagine someone calls you over for a date. Like, hey, watch a movie and chill. But yeah. it's just they're aggressively playing Flappy Birds on their Amazon Fire TV. <laughs> yes. Their Amazon Fire Stick. Yes. Like, can, I, can I go home? No. <laughs> I'm about to win. Um, we can. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. Yeah. There's also... Um, Five Nights at Freddy's, as Brittany mentioned, it's a point-and-click survival horror video game in which the player must survive five nights working as a security guard, working at the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Restaurant. It's a pizza restaurant? So it's Chuck E. Cheese! Oh, yeah. Avoiding being dismembered by the animatronic animals wandering the establishment. That is actually, yeah, I mean, that is definitely a Chuck E. Cheese. And what a good idea for a game. I mean, you, you walk into Chuck E. Cheese and you're kind of like, it's scary as shit. It is scary as shit. When they take the skin off those animatronics, it's just terrifying. It's human flesh. Dude, when you take the skin off of anything. <laughs> yeah, and I would agree with that. Yeah. The Bite of 87 is a common Five Nights at Freddy's lore. Hey, only FNAF fans will like this one. The Bite of 87 was an event that occurred in the Five Nights at Freddy's restaurant in 1987. It allegedly caused the loss of the frontal lobe of the victim's brain. Mangle is the main animatronic of accusation. Mangle is his name? Yeah. What would your animatronic name be? Um, Dirt Squirt. <laughs> it's just poop. <laughs> Diarrhea. Mine would be Blood Fart. Yes. <laughs> Blart. Actually, we'd probably switch. Yeah. Blood fart and dirt squirt. <laughs> <laughs> dirt squirt. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, and similarly, our frontal lobes are gone. Yeah. There's also, I want to scroll down uh, to Stardew Valley. Um, it's an indie farming simulation video game developed by Eric Barone and released by PC for PC in February of 2016. Did you play this? No, but I just think it's the cutest one. Oh. It's the cutest sounding. Okay. Um, in the game, players control a former office worker tending his grandfather's old farm, manage the character's time and energy, plant on the farm, and talk to residents of the titular Stardew, Stardew Valley. Titular. 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 <laughs> Where's the vagular Stardew Valley? <laughs> or next to the penular one. <laughs> yes, on the nut sack. Okay. Um, <laughs> after becoming a massive critical and financial success, the game was ported to several other systems and was eventually announced to be coming to Nintendo Switch in October of 2017. You like the boring granddad farming one. I think that's kind of cute. Like, if I'm going to... It's just so stress-free, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like this one called Amnesia, The Dark Descent. <laughs> <laughs> is a first-person indie survival horror game in which the player assumes the role of Daniel, a British man who awakens trapped inside a castle, missing his memory, and he must find clues by solving a variety of puzzles. Yeah. I like that one. I want to I play Amnesia. <laughs> Go home and play Amnesia. I would just never figure it out. I'm yes. stuck in the fucking castle. You truly the, embody the role of Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> and just then... We need to talk about Minecraft. We do. We have not mentioned Minecraft in detail up to this point. Minecraft has a grip on the yeah. internet. The yeah. way that Roblox does and the way that Among Us does. Um, initially titled Cave Game, Minecraft is an indie Java video game created by Marcus Person. It is a sandbox mining slash building game in which the player gathers various resources and combines them in different ways to create new objects and building structures. It's developed a significant following online with popular player-run servers, YouTube videos, and image derivatives. The full version of the game was released during MineCon 2011. It has viral games within Minecraft. Stanley comments, the best game ever created. Literally crying right now. And then Roblox. Mm -hmm. Minecraft does have a very large like audience. Dude, Minecraft has forever like solidified its place in internet. Mm -hmm. The annuals of internet history. I think that's one of the video games that I can watch someone play like at my age right now. That yeah. I'd be like, all right, yeah. It's I'll just mind numbing. Yeah. It's just like Sims, but create mode. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like watching people do Sims. I could never um, play Sims because my parents wouldn't pay for it. So whenever someone's like, I play Sims, like I'm, I'm going to watch them do it, you know? Yeah. My uh, sister used to play Sims, and she used to make uh, the girls walk around in bra and panties uh -huh. and make them woo-hoo. And then she would make <laughs> them have kids, yeah. but she didn't want the kids. And so she would build a pool house that uh -huh. had four walls and no door. Okay. And she would uh, give the baby to the Grim Reaper. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> my sister needs help. Yes. <laughs> and then in between that, when she was playing that, um, she was writing Logan Paul fan fiction. <laughs> oh my god. 
And then my brother was um, on brony forums. <laughs> <laughs> we love the internet in my house. Yeah, it sounds like it. Um, there's also, uh, which one do we want to read? One more, a couple uh, more. I feel like Roblox needs to be mentioned because of mm-hmm. its grip on TikTok as well. Yeah. Like back in 2019, early 2020, I was making all these friends all over the world. And it was like a way for everyone to connect and be at a place at the same time virtually mm-hmm. instead of like a FaceTime. Yeah. People would go on Roblox and you could see their little characters and whatever. And you would, they would all be on FaceTime audio and playing Roblox together, which was really cute. Yeah. But I, I f- always felt a little too old. Uh huh. I was like, I didn't grow up playing Roblox. I don't know how to do it. I don't want to be the one that's like, wait, guys, wait for me. Yeah. I would just rather just not play. Yeah. So um, Roblox is a massively multiplayer online game created by David Bazooki and Eric Castle, in which players are able to create their own virtual worlds using blocks of varying shapes, sizes, and colors. <laughs> want to be Minecraft so bad. Mm-hmm. Other members may also enter and socialize within the game. And then um, it has viral games within Roblox. And it's crazy because it's a whole... I didn't understand this at first. It's a whole cinematic universe within Roblox. Okay. Like, there's different, like, parties you can go to and different, like, planets and worlds. I I don't know. Yeah. You guys are having so much fun out there. I'm really happy for you guys. (laughs) I I don't know how to explain this. You know, like, when someone's trying so hard to listen? I don't know. (laughs) You weren't listening to a word I said. No, dude, it took every bit of, like, energy in my body to, like, listen to what you were saying. (laughs) I saw that little smile on your face, and I was like, there's nothing going on. <laughs> Giggle monster. It's like you ever watch a video of a woman trying to put a bunch of balloons in the back of her car, <laughs> and they just <laughs> they, what? they keep popping out, and she just like keeps pushing and they keep popping out. That was my brain when you were explaining Roblox to me. <laughs> I was trying to keep all the ideas in. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I do like Grand Theft Auto like watching videos because like yeah they're fun yeah you can hit people with the cars it's very liberating <laughs> watching people play GTA yes. um, it's, damn get them yes. yes. um, in the game the player assumes the role of an outlaw who can either roam freely around an open world city or participate in a series of missions such as bank robberies assassinations and other criminal activities widely considered one of the most critically acclaimed video game franchises to date, the franchise is known for its controversial storylines and missions, violent gameplay, and adult humor. I feel like I, if you invited me over, not you, but like if I was on a date and someone invited me over to play Grand Theft Auto, I'd be like, okay, I'll give it actually a whirl. Yeah. You know, like I'll really try. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the one you would try at? Yeah, or Stardew Valley. I think I, knowing myself, yeah. would love, like, World of Warcraft and League of Legends and fucking Zelda and all yeah. that and like Skyrim. I would love that if I gave it a chance. Uh-huh. Um, the closest I've ever gotten to a game like that is like Lego Indiana Jones. <laughs> 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 oh my god, we used to play the Lego games. Mm. Me and my siblings too. Like Lego Star Wars, Lego Indiana Jones. <laughs> Those were so fun. They're so fun. It's yeah. that. I would watch them play and I'd yeah. be like, you didn't get the little coin. Yeah. <laughs> Go get the coin. <laughs> jump up the hill. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> On the Lego Star Wars ones, you could double jump and he would take his lightsaber <laughs> into the ground. I was like, do that one again. I'm 30. <laughs> Do it again. Yeah. I like Yoda does a jump. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> There's a lot more. Um, I. I. I want to do an episode on um twitch and gamers famous gamers yeah because a lot of you guys are you guys watch that shit <laughs> <laughs> i think twitch is like i'm now that i'm I thought about it a little longer i yeah. think it's like fun you know oh it's so fun mm-hmm. we just need to figure it out <laughs> i just don't want all the i don't want boys to watch me i want all the girls yeah. How do I feel? Can you filter men? For- Ladies! Yes. <laughs> I'm on Twitch! <laughs> I, put Naked. My, I put my retainer in before <laughs> I go on Twitch. Ladies! Ladies, check this shit out. I do sleep with a mouth guard sometimes because I, um, I grind my teeth in my sleep. Bruxism. So I have to sleep with a mouth What's guard. What's it called? Bruxism. It's where you grind your teeth. Spell it. B-R-U-X-I-S-M. Maybe. Adjacent to Marxism. Yes. It's communism for teeth. Is that really what it's called? Bruxism? It's Bruxism, yeah. Um, it's a condition in which you grind, gnash, or clench your teeth. <laughs> Nash? <laughs> Chronic gnashing. <laughs> I gnash grew my teeth. 
Should I grind them so hard they turn blue? Um. Yeah. So bruxism. That's because I'm just nervous all the time. I'm sca- That's fair. I'm scared even in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. I think that's it for us. Mm -hmm. We really hope you enjoyed this. And if you play video games, comment which one down below. And explain it to me like I'm five. (laughs) Explain (laughs) it to me like English is not my first language. All right. Check us out on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, Yelp, Zillow, uh, Venmo, Venmo, PUBG, Cash App, League of Legends, Mm -hmm. Roblox, Minecraft. Yes. And make sure to leave a nice comment. If you make us, can you guys make up us as Roblox characters? Yeah, please. And if you if you make us in GTA, please don't send me a video of me being <laughs> hit by a car. Yes. <laughs> or in Sims, if you make us in Sims, like don't don't make don't me, make me <laughs> don't give me the Grim Reaper. Yeah, don't make me bigger than I am. It'll yeah. send me into a body spiral. <laughs> yes. All right, love you guys. Thank you so much for listening. Now fuck off. All right. <laughs>